Hey everybody, uh, we've done some diagnosis and now we're, as I uh, promised we're going to keep you updated. And one thing I forgot to mention in the very first video that when you're working with fuel is to always be safe. One of the things I mentioned is you know disconnect your DC negative on your battery before you start messing with the fuel. You don't want any sparks to happen. Also, make sure you have a fire extinguisher on hand, ready, charged to go if anything was to happen. Okay, let's go over the, let's go over this a little bit. Here's here's where our, here's where our fuel pump and ascending unit is located. Uh, these two lines right here, one's a supply. This is the supply line right here. The one is turned at a 90 degrees. Fuel is being pumped out, comes back in as return line in here. Okay. Now if you notice over here, this is a tank vent valve. This is allowed vapors from the, the gasoline vapors to exit out of the tank through a little orifice that's in this valve, comes down this hose, goes all the way back to the charcoal canister where it's stored, and then through a purge solenoid with the PCM will determine the, when it wants to pull some uh, fuel vapors out of the charcoal canister. Okay, if you remember when we did our test under the hood, I was connected up here on this female connector here for my pot. One side was connected here on the female side to C118. That will go straight into the slosh module here. All right. Now, if you remember the other side, I connected it directly to ground. All right. So when I, what I did is after we got the bed off, I came back and did one more test. I did the same thing, and I hooked it up here, female side to C118. But I want to verify that this here ground connection going through the splice and to this G103 was going to be okay. So what I did then is I took my other side, my black lead on my pot, and I connected here on the female side. Everything worked fine. The gauge will go from empty to full. Okay, another test I did is I took and I measured the resistance of the sending unit that's in the tank. So what I did there is I went on the male side of this right here, and I went on the male side of this here connector here, C118, measured 15 ohms. Now, earlier I said I measured 50.8 mega ohms, but what happened was I was on the, uh, actually on the wrong pin. I came back and looked at that. <clears throat> so we do have a resistance on the sending unit, 15 ohms. The gauge does read slightly under E, and if you look over here, it says 22.4 ohms at empty. So it looks like the sending unit was doing what it was supposed to. Now, let's carry you over to the, to the, uh, to the fuel tank, and we'll show you what we got over there right now. All right, right here is another diagram. Now this one is showing the fuel pump right along with the sending unit. All right, this here you see we have C409, all right, and there's C409 down here. This is a four pin connector. One, two, three, four. Here's our four pin connector right over here. Okay, this one right over here is a female connector. This is on the harness side. Over here, here's the four male pins. This is going down to the sending unit and also down to the fuel pump. Now, these two, this one and this one, these are the two for the sending unit. This side right here is for the ground side, okay? Which is gonna be this one right here. This here is the black with the yellow, black with the yellow tracer. You see it goes to ground. The other side is a yellow with the white tracer, which is gonna be this one right here. Now while we edit, just for just for some reference, if anybody is going to be looking at the fuel pump, we'll, we'll go over that one right now. As you see, the fuel pump has two connections. One side is going to be black, okay? The black is going all the way down to ground. Now, that wire is going to be this one right here. This is your ground connection. Black wire connects to here for your fuel pump. Now the one right beside of it is going to be this wire right here. It's going to be the pink with a black tracer. 
Now you can see you can see it going all the way through. I'm not going to go into detail explaining all about the circuitry here and how it works, but you can see you can see what's going on there. All right, now I'm going to show you the resistance that I checked up here under the hood, which was 15 ohms, out there at C118. All right, now as mentioned, these two are for the sending unit. All right. So I'm going to hook it on. All right, there's our reading, 15.7 ohms. Now I know there's about a half a tank of gasoline in this tank. Now if you remember, it's 22.4 ohms when it's empty. So we're actually reading a little bit less than empty, and yet we have fuel in here. So it looks like that this here sending unit is stuck at this 15.7 ohms. And gauge is actually reading this here value and which is putting it a little bit slightly below empty. Okay. Now, what we've done, I want to verify that the wires from here in the harness for the sending unit side is going to be good all the way, all the way through the connector, C118, the bulkhead connector, all the way up to the instrument cluster. So you can see I've got the black lead which is a ground. Here's the other lead coming off of the wiper of the pot and I have right now right now it's on a it's on a full tank. I got it fully clockwise. Okay uh, Con uh, Connie's sitting in the truck. Now remember I, I turned the pot fully clockwise so we should be getting a full tank so he's going to turn the switch to the on position and that's looking uh that's looking pretty good As you notice it's not going quite all the way to full but if you remember uh my pot was like 140 ohms and we should be 145, but you can see we're pretty darn close. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn the pot fully counterclockwise so we can see it coming down. Okay, it's fully counterclockwise now, so we should be getting a, uh, that's simulating an empty tank. And we'll watch it for a few seconds just to show that it's coming down. And it's coming down smoothly because of the slosh connector. The slosh module. Module, yes. Right. Which, of course, this is verifying all of this. So now, like I mentioned before, we are checking everything back here from the tank through the through the uh, through the harness, through one, two, three, three connectors, all the way up to the instrument cluster. Of course, we're also checking the connector there that plugs on there. Checking the fuel gauge, and we're checking the slosh module. And of course, that would also be checking the, the, uh, you know, the 12 volts that's being powered up to the uh, slosh module, the ground connections that's going to go to the instrument cluster. So we're pretty much checking everything. We just want to make sure that everything else is going to work on here. Uh, that the sending unit looks like it's the only real problem here. You know, as far as the gauge goes. And as I mentioned earlier, it does take a little bit of time here for this thing to come down. One thing I did find out is it comes down pretty, fairly fast, for, you know, from full uh, coming down to empty. But once it gets on down to, say, where it's at right now, it actually starts slowing down. It even takes longer. I suspect that's uh, from the capacitor and the resistor they're using on the board here, so using the RC time constant. So, you know, as the capacitor discharges, then it's gonna take even more and more time for it to get fully discharged. So 
So in any event, if, um, if we leave it on, it will go all the way down to empty. So I don't want, to, want you guys to sit here and just watch a gauge. So anyway, just want to show you guys that, that uh, where we're at right now. With this pot, to go from full to empty will take 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay? Now if you're going from empty to full, it takes 3 minutes. Okay, so we've already ordered the parts. Uh, they should be here this weekend. So we just want to show you this part here, where we're at right now with it. So, so y'all stay tuned and we'll keep you, keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching.